and Armored Glove Tutorial by fantasy author David J. Guyton. This is 18 gauge brass. You can also use stainless steel, but if you use stainless, I would suggest using 20 or 22 gauge stainless steel to make it easier to cut. Um, I had a cool idea for some articulated fingers, so I thought I would put this video together, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay, let's get started. Your first step is to download your template at the link under the video. Cut your pieces out of paper. You're going to want to get a leather glove of some sort, something like this. Trace your pieces out onto metal or whatever material you're using. Cut the pieces out. File them or use a rotary tool to get them to the proper shape. Here's all the pieces cut out. Only 16 pieces this time. This is a jig I made for a former gauntlet video. This is, uh, I think, 1 and 1 eighth um, outside diameter. And this is uh, just a little under an inch um, inside diameter. We're only going to use one half of it, though, so it's much easier for you to make. Just tape the pieces to, the, uh, to another piece of pipe, and we're just going to push them into the uh, half pipe here. It makes it much easier to do, a lot faster and it works pretty well. You may want to also tap it with a hammer once it's in there all the way to make sure that it takes the shape of the mold very well. Here's your part. Looks pretty good. Using a punch, mark all the holes for drilling holes. These are called leather rivets or rapid rivets. I'm going to use my other method of making rivets out of nails, just make sure you use a drill bit that's slightly bigger than your rivet. Drill your holes. Here's all your holes drilled. For the finger tips, you want to curve this part and not this part. So we're going to put half of it into the jig and press it down to give us the perfect curve here to match the rest of the fingers. Here's your part. Half of it is curved. The other half you're going to curve the other way. Just use your fingers. You should be able to kind of bend it well enough. And bend it all the way around. And there's your fingertip. All five are the same. Here's all the finger plates. For the base of the thumb, we're going to use a little pipe or something here to to round the, the shape a little bit to make it fit your hand. You want to keep checking the shape of it against your hand while wearing the glove to make sure it, it's going to fit well. Probably won't be able to curve it very much by hand, but you can get it started. And then just take a hammer and uh, kind of go along the, the front edge to make a nice rounded shape. To shape the knuckle plate, you can use a ball-peen hammer in a vise like I did in other videos, but my sister gave me these little dies for Christmas, so I'm going to use those instead. Here I'm just doming the knuckle plate. The knuckle plate is basically the jewel of every gauntlet, so you want to put a lot of time into this and make sure that it looks good. It's very important, probably the most important piece. rounding all the corners to begin with to get a, a shape started. I want the effect to, to look like, sort of like bones of uh, uh, maybe a demon's hand uh, popping out of the back of the hand. So I don't want it to be flat. If you want to leave it flat, you know, by all means go ahead and do that, but I think this is a very important step to make it look like a good, you know, piece of art and not just a, a simple little gauntlet. This is probably the most time-consuming part of the build, but even still, I mean, you're looking at all of it um, almost in real time. I know it's sped up, but you know, it's probably 20 minutes or so of working, um, and it's it, it wasn't very hard at all. You can do it too. Keep on checking to make sure it fits your hand, and make changes as needed. 
You can also use a flat surface. I'm using an anvil, but if you don't have an anvil, you can use um, uh, like a weight or a um, dumbbell or something along those lines. Anything that's a heavy piece of metal. This also will dome out the back of the, of the knuckles, so there's two ways to do it. Here I'm straightening up the, the crease between the knuckles, um, making it a little bit more pronounced. it the more it's going to change shape a little bit so you have to sort of make adjustments and keep fitting it to the glove um, as you do so but um, it should just uh, it's basically going to take the form of the back of your hand if you do it the way I did it here here I'm rounding the edge the front edge just a little bit to give it a little more uh, three-dimensional look not not quite so flat at the front I'm sanding the parts. You can use a sanding sponge or sandpaper. I like the look. If you don't like the look, by all means don't do it, but I like it like that. Here's all the parts shined up and ready to be put together. Here I'm making my own rivets out of nails, like I've done on the videos before. Just as simple as putting in a device and tapping the end of it with a hammer. Cut it off, and then put it through both pieces and hammer down this end. Here you can see the advanced articulation. I sort of designed this to be a little bit more advanced than the other gauntlets. You can see how well the fingers move as opposed to the others. You may need to make little tweaks like this to make sure the parts are freely moving. Here's all the parts put together and ready for assembly to the glove. If you want to rivet them, I suggest riveting, riveting them in these areas. I'm just going to use glue, so I'm not going to do that. This is 5 minute epoxy. Mix it up, put it in just this part of each finger, also on the base of the thumb and the bottom side of the knuckle plate. You may want to do these one at a time because it's going to be hard to hold everything still if you, if you have too much going on. And once the glue dries, you're done. This was a very fun project. This is a good project if it's your first um, armor project. It's a lot easier than the other ones. Um, it goes together in about a day. Um, usually it takes me many, many days, but this took one day to put together, so it wasn't bad at all. Um, had a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoy it. See my other video tutorials and download the templates to make your own armor. Please share on YouTube and all other social networks. Thanks for watching and enjoy your project.